All right. Hey guys, we are jumping right into James chapter two. So last week we were talking about faith versus works, how it's not this idea of faith and or works. It's an idea of you have faith and you have works and the works together. You believe in this Jesus and you respond as a result of it and it works hand in hand. So let's see what James continues to say. He says in chapter 2 verse 18, but someone will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith apart from your works and I will show you my faith by my works. You believe that God is one. You do well. Even the demons believe and shudder. Do you want to be shown, you foolish person, that faith apart from works is useless? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered up his son Isaac on the altar? You see that faith was active along with his works and faith was completed by his works. And scripture was fulfilled that says, Abraham believed God and it was counted to him as righteousness. And it was called a friend of God. You see that a person is justified by works and not by faith alone. In the same way, was not also Rahab the prostitute justified by works when she received the messengers and sent them out by another way? For as the body apart from the spirit is dead, so also faith apart from works is dead. Now, James says a lot of things here. Um, one of the first things that I think is interesting is he says he's going to show you his faith by his works, right? The faith is active through his works. And so um, it's kind of like last week, you know, when I talked about the proof is in the pudding or the taste is in the boba or the spiciness is in the pepper. Um, you know that it's real, right? By by, by what it, you know, is like. So, like, you know, a football season started, right? And I'm a huge football fan. Well, how do you know if a football team is good? By their record. Are they winning a lot? Are they losing a lot? Um, looks like the Broncos are probably done for the year. But, like, that's how you tell. You know, how do you tell if a quarterback is good? If he throws a lot of touchdowns, right? Like, you can't just say, hey, wow, that, that's such a great team. Show me their record. What's their record? Oh, They've won no games this year. Mm, I, I don't believe you. I don't believe that they're a good team. Hey, he's a really good quarterback. Oh, really? How do you know he's a good quarterback? Uh, he has thrown a bunch of touchdowns, and he leads teams to win. Or if he, if he doesn't, then you'll say he's not, right? So it's interesting that he says even the demons believe. He says it's not enough just to know. It's not enough just to say that you know these things. Um just to say, hey, I'm a Christian because I go to church. Hey, I'm a Christian because I know the Bible stories. Hey, I'm a Christian because, yeah, like, I, I think there's a God up there. He says that's not just enough to know. He says that even the demons know that there's a God. And honestly, the demons know a lot more about God than some of us do because they're intelligent beings. And so if it's not just enough to know, then what? He gives examples of Abraham in faith. He didn't just say he believed. He offered up his own son, much like God would do a few thousand years later. Uh, there's a story of Rahab, the prostitute in the Old Testament. She risked her life by protecting the people of Israel in faith. And so it's almost saying like, if you have faith, then you're going to demonstrate it, right? You can't just say, hey, you know, like I, you know, you can say, hey, I am a citizen of this country then somebody will say, you know, if you're going uh, flying somewhere, they'll say, okay, like, show us, show us your passport, show us your U.S. passport, Canadian passport, you know, a passport from another country. Like, they need proof, right? right? You say, hey, I, I can drive this car, police pulls you over, they'll be like, okay, show me your license, show me the fact that you actually can legally permit to drive. And with works, that's kind of what James is saying. He's kind of saying, hey, this is my faith, and now I'm showing it. The proof is in my works. Not so that I can earn salvation, but because I'm already saved by what God has done through his grace, I'm going to naturally want to respond out into the world. And so what about you? What are some things that would be considered works? Um, and I think a good way to think about this is just by your relationship uh, with yourself, with the world, and with God. So, meaning, 
Like, what is your relationship with like yourself? Do you show self-control? Um, do you, you know, have some discipline? Do you have, um, you know, things that you think about during the day that are um, pleasing to God, right? So all those things in relation to yourself, like, is that honoring to God? That's a, that's a proof of works. Your character, right? What you do when nobody's around. Are you patient? Are you humble? Those things. Uh, your relationship to the world, and that could mean um, to non-believers and to believers. Are you witnessing through your actions? You know, not not being like all, you know, oh, you know, just talking about Jesus every day to every people, but like people can tell, hey, something is different about that person. Something is different about um, this gal or guy. He is somewhat kind, and he asks a lot of good questions, and it seems like he's not just materialistic or vain, right? The world can tell, and other believers, you're encouraging other believers and stirring them on and even helping them throughout this time. And finally, your relationship to God. Are you pursuing Him? Are you meditating on His Word? Are you not being content and just um, apathetic in the fact that, you know, so are you constantly wanting to grow and learn and hunger about Him? I think those are all important things. And so just like it says, the body apart from the spirit is dead. Also, faith apart from your works is dead, right? You know, we're not just dead bodies. We're not just empty, hollow beings. We have a spirit and we have faith. And so let's show our works today. So um, not to be cheesy and not, not to just say, oh, good deeds, pass it on. Not like that. But um, I encourage you to think about maybe one or two things you could even do this week to encourage a person or to even think, hey, what are the works that is lacking in my life? What are the fruit that is lacking in my life? Hopefully that's encouraging to you. Um, hopefully we can show our faith uh, by our works. Thanks.